gentlemen, a heavyweight contest of 30 minutes, six five-minute rounds, one fall, one submission or knockout to the winner. Introducing on my left from Gillingham, Wayne Bridges. And his opponent from Lanarkshire in Scotland, Ian Muir. Hello again, Grapple fans. Good afternoon to you and welcome to the Assembly Hall here in Walthamstow. And this freestyle wrestling session that comes to you this afternoon as starts off with a heavyweight bout between Ian Muir of Kilbride, Lanarkshire. In Scotland, there's back to us, a really big man with a shaven head. And, of course, he's about 21 stone. His opponent, Wayne Bridges, at a mere 16 stone four. His opponent. Six five-minute rounds. One fall to decide this bout. Max Ward of Birmingham, the referee. Wayne Bridges for once giving away very nearly five stone here at four and a half stone plus. Wayne Bridges, of course, got tremendous height advantages. We'll see when he stands to his full height. Even the toughness of Ian Muir is going to find a problem against this tremendous Wayne Bridges physique. side headlock Wayne Bridges seemed to walk straight back into it he's up against a tank here all right Muir with the black trunks and knee bandages on both knees trying to get over the face to prevent Bridges from breathing here and Max Ward is certainly going to have trouble with Muir, and this is only the halfway through the first round yet. Wrestlers would have gone with the wet there and they wouldn't have dared not to, but Muir wouldn't. Push that right leg forward firmly, won't go with it. <laughs> Semi jab stranglehold, but over the eyes rather than the throat to Muir. Two minutes to go in round one of six. Remember, just one fall decides this bout. Still the side headlock, which is all Ian Muir seems to be attacking with at the moment. And successfully. Backhand. And Muir stepping through the top two ropes to get the break. Which won't make him over popular with the fans. And Wayne Bridges, his opponent here today, has got quite a few. A lot of them are here, as you can hear. I've upset the man, Martin, all right. But through the ropes, unfortunately for Bridges.
Berhardt with a one minute to go and already Ian Muir's face just covered in sweat. Really put a lot of effort into this first round. Mostly with side headlocks and Japanese strangleholds. Oh, 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 oh. Public warning he gets for that first punch to the stomach. You'll hear it announced in a few seconds because the MC is away from ringside at the moment. Just come back, there he is. Side head chancery now, Muir. <laughs> Max Ward nicely helping Wayne Bridges to bring his man to the center of the ring. Ten seconds. Five seconds. A lovely turn by Wayne Bridges, right on the bell. Gentlemen, during round one, Muir received a public warning. So that's the announcement, a little late of Muir. There he is from uh, Kilbride in Lanarkshire. First public warning as early as round one, this 21 stone fella. But he's going to cause his opponent, even with his skill, a lot of trouble. Round two, five rounds to go, and this protege of Mike Marino, Wayne Bridges, from Gillingham and Kent, six foot one, 16 stone four in weight, a lighter trunks, and the taller of the two by far, has got quite a problem on here against this man mountain, Ian Mill from Lanarkshire. And Max Ward has probably got even more of a problem to keep him in control. He's already dished out one public order. That was a good, useful forearm uppercut and perfectly legal. Somewhere between the elbow and the wrist. That's the forearm smash. Second public warning for that last one. Gentlemen, round two, second public warning to Muir. So it must have been a punch that last one. The referee spotted it. It's the wrong side for us, but he sure got it. Getting Muir's arm between the two ropes, trying to get both, but missed it. But he's fairly well caught with just one. Bar there, Muir from the back, and the knee to the rest, and the pressure points, the side of the neck. Again, the knee. trying to whip him, get him over that, that double-handed wrist lever. Bridges is trying to whip him ever since the start of this bout. Hasn't succeeded yet. Could so easily break an arm. And that was against the joint. Now will he whip? That man is really pouring his sweat. As early as round two, it's incredible. And he can't do that holding onto the rope, see that? Not with Max Ward there. A flying butt. Nice one by Bridges. And again he gets the arm caught up. Again Bridges is tempted to go at him. Max Ward won't allow it. He brings Wayne Bridges to the center of the ring so that he can't lean on the top rope on the other side and therefore tighten the ropes even more. In that 
Leg grab, he's trying to do a double, he's got it. And again, the, the body, Mule's body over the face, trying to prevent the breathing. Two public warnings against him already, this man Muir. He better release when told. Forearm smash to the side of the jaw. And for once legal. Great favourite Wayne Bridges with the crowd, as you can hear. They don't like this treatment of their hero at all. Still trying to grab that leg. 23 seconds to go now in the second round. Still a lot of pressure going, not a proper grovet, but he was acting as a grovet as he drops his man face down. The, the count will just beat the bell, and only just. So you'll have to get up. Wayne Bridges, this great physique in his corner there from Gillingham and Camp. The man who, of course, uh, is a part-time wrestler these days since he runs a pub in Clapham. But still a great, great favorite indeed. Round three, four rounds to go, no score. One fall decides this bout, and two public warnings against Ian Muir of Lanarkshire, Scotland. This enormous man mountain with the shaven head. Only one more mistake, and Max Wardle send him out of the ring. He's got to be really careful now with those punches of his. Oh, nice butt. Caught him just as he begins to deliver. That flying butt of Bridges, superb. Again, the butt. The full weight of Bridges going right at him from a distance. And the back elbow as Bridges falls. Oh, punch straight to the stomach. That must be it, surely. Straight out. Straight out. And the MC Frankie Blake getting into the ring. Wayne Bridges doesn't like it. He doesn't want to win like that. He wants to continue. Thank you, Frankie Blake, and with uh, Max Ward taking the taking his name for that disqualification, a win for Wayne Bridges in 50 seconds of round three. Uh, but right now, over to Dickie Davis for the halftime football reports.